Hello everyone. I wanted to talk about menstruation and about women and aging and that whole process because it's been really on my mind recently. One of the things, this isn't just a video for women, this is a video for everyone. Uh, we need to normalise the menstrual cycle. We need to normalise bleeding. We need to take it out of the shame that it's been in. You know, bleeding has been in such a space of dirtiness and hiding it under the carpet. And I really feel that at the moment, the earth is calling for this rebirthing of how we view women, how we view the cycle, how we how we view our connection. For you know, thousands of years, women have been burned at the stake or tortured for their natural being. And why I say that is because when women bleed, their intuition is heightened, their connection to the earth is heightened. There's a beautiful sense if it's allowed. And I think this is part of the reason that women have so many menstrual problems is because we are not reconnecting. We're not doing this like expansiveness into the earth. When you allow yourself to go and bleed on the earth and when you sit and you bleed and you release into the earth, then you are forming this really powerful connection. And this is the magic, the wisdom that is returning at the moment, this remembering that we are these really divine, incredible psychic beings. And we all are, men and women, but women especially have this deeper psychic thing that comes out when they're bleeding and also ovulation, this heightened sense um, comes out at that time as well. So it's honouring that and it's honouring and listening to your body and listening to the truth that is being spoken. And I think this is, you know, really important work and I feel really called to this work at the moment, this support, this holding of women and men as we re-establish what the divine feminine is and what the divine masculine is, both within us and around us. You know, we are both, we all hold divine feminine and divine masculine within us and we have to have that balance. And if we don't have that balance within us, then relationships don't work so well because if we are, if we can't be balanced in that, then that is reflected back to us. But also for women and men, we have not been taught what that is, what that looks like. So a big part of what we need to do is get back into that, remembering what does the divine feminine look like in us? What does the divine masculine look like? Because when men really sit in that beautiful divine masculine, it allows women to sit in their divine feminine and vice versa. We can't do it without the, the other so much. It's, it's, it makes it much harder. So when men can women honour women in that way of allowing them to be crazy, allowing them to be intuitive, allowing them to be that beautiful, fluid being that they are and not having to operate in a masculine way, then the man can step into his power, into his role. We all have roles, you know, the divine masculine, divine feminine, we have these roles that are natural and intuitive and instinctive in our beings and we fought against them in the desire to be equal. We are equal, but in different ways. Equality doesn't mean that we have to be the same. And that's part of the problem. Women have tried to be the same as men. We're not, doesn't mean we're any less, we're not. <laughs> but we shouldn't try and be men and men shouldn't try and be women. So many men have become demasculinated because women are doing everything. So what's their role? Their role used to be hunter-gatherer. They would provide support, hold that space around the women so the women could flow, collect the herbs, do the magic. And that by that, I mean the create the harmony, the beauty, the medicines. And this is such an important thing that we look at and connect with. And this, I feel, is really where my work is moving me into a lot more. Um, and my own journey is moving me into that because I'm working on that within myself, within my relationships with those around me, within this deep, deep desire in my being, this deep longing, this deep need to really reconnect to that power 
that is in me, that is in all of us, that deep knowing and allowing that wild woman, that beautiful, mad, intuitive, crazy being to flow. One of the other things that's really been coming to my mind recently is aging. And I turned 43 a couple of weeks ago and I feel amazing being 43. I feel the best probably I've ever felt in my body. Like I feel the most secure and the most happy and the most content in my body that I've ever felt in many ways. And I feel like a greater sense of confidence and connection has happened just in these last few weeks. I feel like my naked uh, birthday swim, sunrise swim, was this great initiation um, and blessing on me. I really feel that it kind of recalibrated some things in me. But what's been coming up is that as we age, as women, we have in our minds this um, view of perfection of women as in their 20s. You know, I remember in my 20s and 30s, you know, I had a great figure. I looked great, not bragging, but, you know, I was very attractive and could go out and connect with whoever I wanted, really. I had a magnetism and charm and a youthfulness and a joy and a lightness, which is great. And as I get older, you know, your body changes. I've had three children. And when I look in the mirror, there is a difference in the 20, 30 year old me and the 43 year old me. And in my head, in many ways, I'm still that 27 year old going wild dancing. I still go wild dancing. But I, I thought about this the other day because I saw some photographs from me dancing and I thought, I don't quite look how I think I look. I look older. And that was a really interesting thing. And so part of what I want to do is to, and I'm going to be doing some videos this week on this, is to honour my body as it ages and to work on developing that relationship with our bodies, all of us, of honour, of um, connection, of gratitude that this beautiful body has held and supported the soul and it still continues to. And so what I want to do is I want to change the perceptions within myself and within society of that aging. Slight rambling, so I hope I'm making sense. Please do let me know if this is resonating with you. Um, <laughs> that's my little one just first in. So yeah. <laughs> More on this subject later.